okay? But I think more than watching the head tilt, I think you have to think about where his shoulders are. Then, yeah, but make him do something. You know, sometimes he just kind of moves his, his body at you, but he doesn't take a step forward. And that's important to recognize. That leg means the energy must go forward. Good girl. That's right. You wait until it's just right. Yep, trot on. on. Good. Alright, work him once down the long side until we get the trot that we really like. Yeah, play him a little. Bring his hocks, you know, like you had him before. Bring the hocks to the... Let's start the other direction, actually, hon. Because that was a little easier for him, huh? Good girl. You know, but once he's soft in your hand, don't be afraid to let him come up. You know what I mean? That's kind of the next place you're going. Good. Good. That's right. Once he's soft, then we let him carry it. That's the way. Up with your belly button. Good girl. Good. And when you're watching him, you know, everyone always says, look up when you're riding. Look up, look up. If you don't have mirrors, look down. You know, look at his ears. They should be level. Good girl. Okay, let's play the little shoulder in. Good, ride that left shoulder to me. A little closer to the rail. Yep, good, good. Yeah, and I would gather this way it's not such an issue as it is the other direction, huh? Which makes sense because the balance is harder for him that way too. Yep, trot on, up on the left shoulder. That's it, good. That's fine this way, let's change direction. Good, make him soft. Soft on the left leg, soft on the, yeah, into your right elbow. Good, and then let him take you out. Good girl. Yeah. That's the way, honey. Good. Little shoulder four. Look at his ears. Yeah. Good. Up on his right shoulder. And you know, I gather, good, you can let him go straight. I gather this direction. You feel how he struggles to maintain that trot, you know, in the shoulder floor. I'm gathering that this head tilting is actually more about him dropping his left shoulder. Good. Up on the right. Come. Good girl. Yeah, ride that right fist to the end. Take him a little straighter on that right wing. Counter flip. Yeah, exactly. And then give and go. You know, you can, yes, sweetie. You know, you can play that. If the shoulder in starts feeling tight on your right rein, just turn it into a little counterflexion. Yeah. Good. Little touch on the right rein. Good. And then let him come up. Okay. Think about this. If tracking to the right, you have that trot that you love. Good girl. Sometimes pretend when you're tracking left that you're going to the right when it starts to go to garbage. Good, little counter flexion here. Uh-huh, counter flexion to the outside just a hair. So you feel, yeah, make him soft on the right rein now. Uh-huh, good, now up and out. That's it. I would let him stretch, I think he looks great. Okay, but I think more than watching the head tilt, I think you have to think about where his shoulders are. And that's why, especially tracking left, the judge might see that because he comes a little, he drops his shoulder. 
you know, which obviously would drop his ear too. And when he drops that shoulder, he drops that bit, and he kind of gets a little concave, you know, collapsed on that side. And so, yeah, a judge could make that comment. But when he's up in the shoulders like that, you wouldn't, it wouldn't see it at all. It's very, very different looking. Very well done.